Back in 2006, NVIDIA dropped the GeForce 8800 GTX, the first DirectX 10 card, with unified shaders and CUDA support. It was a beast at $599, wiping the floor with the old 7900 GTX. Then in 2008, ATI came swinging. The Radeon HD 4800 series, especially the 4870, packed GDDR5 and delivered insane value. It went toe-to-toe -to -toe with NVIDIA's GTX 260 and came out ahead in bang for the buck. ATI was officially back. By 2012, something interesting happened. Intel HD Graphics 4000 became the first integrated GPU people actually noticed. Built into Ivy Bridge CPUs, it didn't rival dedicated cards, but it marked a shift. More laptops could now run HD videos and light games without a discrete GPU. It changed entry-level computing. In 2014, NVIDIA dropped the GTX 970, a $329 card that crushed 1080p gaming. It introduced Maxwell architecture, great performance per watt, and was marketed as VR ready. Despite a small scandal about its actual memory split, 3.5 plus 0.5 gigabytes, the 970 sold like crazy and became one of Steam's most used cards for years. Then came the GTX 1060 in 2016. Based on the new Pascal architecture, it offered GTX 980 level performance at half the price and power draw. It became the most popular GPU in the world, dominating the Steam hardware survey for years. If you played PC games between 2016 and 2020, you probably owned a 1060. Ray tracing was the buzzword, but in 2019, NVIDIA still launched the GTX 1650, a Turing-based GPU without ray tracing cores. It was cheap, efficient, and popular in budget builds and gaming laptops. No RTX flash, but solid 1080p performance on a tight budget. The RTX 3060 arrived in early 2021, during the GPU shortage chaos. Even at launch MSRP of $329, it was nearly impossible to find. But when you could get one, it offered real-time ray tracing, DLSS, and solid 1440p gaming. Paired with Ampere architecture, it brought high-end features to mid-range gamers. In 2023, NVIDIA launched the RTX 4060 based on Ada Lovelace architecture. It focused less on raw performance and more on AI-powered upscaling. With DLSS 3 and frame generation, the 4060 blurred the line between native rendering and AI interpolation, a big moment in graphics evolution. And by 2025, GPUs aren't just for gaming anymore. They're powering AI models video generation, and real-time simulation. Gaming cards now often double as entry-level compute engines, from video editors to hobbyist AI devs. From the mighty 8800 GTX to the AI-savvy RTX 4060, the journey of GPUs has been insane. They went from pixels and polygons to powering the future.